Hey guys, it's V. They're just so dang expensive. What it, what was that? Hey guys, it's V. So I thought that today would be the perfect day to do a what's in my bag tag. The reason that I thought this would be perfect is because I was looking for a coupon at Kroger in my bag and I had so much unnecessary crap in here that I decided that I should do a what's in my bag just so that I can clean out some of the unnecessary crap that is populating my bag space. First I'll tell you about the bag and it is a fossil vintage reissue. I got it off of eBay with some of my birthday money. Okay so first thing I'm seeing is the grocery list for when I get finished filming this video that I just printed out today. And it says, Dim Groceries Dough, just so that I know what it is so I don't have to unfold it. So that's the first thing that's going to go back in because I need it for after this video when I go to get Dim Groceries. Next thing that I'm seeing is um, the reason that I needed to clean this out. Ah, don't go back in there. Last one, I think. All right. Um, yeah, so this is why I couldn't find that coupon. I actually picked up every single receipt in my purse before I found that coupon for $1.50 off of one CoverGirl product. I mean, I guess it was worth it to me. Why women do this, I don't know. We just, it's, it's too much work to find the nearest trash can. My makeup bag, which I always keep in my purse. I, I really like this bag, except for as you can see, it is full to the absolute brim. Next thing is my checkbook. Next thing is this little journal that I got from Target. And it's pretty much just a little journal that keeps all of my ideas and, you know, lists of things for things. And... It's little and compact, so it fits really well in there. And it's also got this handy dandy little thing that I can keep things in, which is where I should put my coupons so that I can find them a little bit easier. But you know, that idea just goes in one ear and out the other. Then I've got my wallet, which I got this from Ross for like $12 and it is fossil and it is fabulous. I had a bigger fossil wallet, but I really needed something more compact and I just love this one. It's got a place for my license, some cash, some rewards cards, some actual cards, and it's got this little spot on the back for some more rewards cards because, let's be honest, that's what takes up most of the space in my wallet because cash is not one of those things. Then I've got this little case star thing that holds my charger for my phone, some headphones, and an outlet and a car charger because I am always prepared for every situation. I'm gonna put that back later. A wild Madagascar vanilla body spray and I love this spray so effing much. Bath and Body Works baby rant. Okay, I saw the wild Madagascar vanilla three wick candle at my local Bath and Body Works in the mall and then I went yesterday and called like 10 Bath and Body Works none of them had the candle. So I'm suspecting that maybe that store was not supposed to put out that candle, but I really freaking want it so they better have more or I'm gonna be very upset Bath and Body Works and I will let you know. Okay, next thing is this adorable little sugar skull thing. It had mints in it and I actually just wanted it for the container because I thought that it was cute and so I took the mints out and I tried one and it was disgusting so I dumped it and now it holds some Advil and ibuprofen and some lactate pills because I'm lactose intolerant so anytime I eat something with dairy I have to take this little pill so that my little tum tum doesn't get upset with me. <laughs> Travel size wild Madagascar vanilla body lotion because I just love it. I just love it so much. If they don't make it a permanent part of their line, I will also be very upset with Bath & Body Works because I need this year round. It's not just for fall. Yeah, I need this. It's a hot pink pin. These are my favorite pins. My work keys. My car keys, which has this freaking awesome lanyard that has cats on it that I got at Hot Topic. My freaking cute little 
I don't know what this is. I think it's supposed to be a fox. And I named it Finn because it looks like a Finnick fox. And Finnekin, the Pokemon, is a Finnick fox. And so I thought I would name it Finn because it looks like a little fox. And it's just so cute. And it just sits on my keychain and it's my best friend. Then I've got some Icebreaker Sours. I'm just going to eat a watermelon one right now just because they're delicious. I have a purple pen. I've got this hand sanitizer that has a little kitty on it. And I have pumpkin cupcake in there right now, which smells heavenly. I've got a 20% off coupon for Bath & Body Works. I've got my Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment, which is my absolute favorite lip balm at the moment. I'm almost done. I need to get another one. They're just so dang expensive. Then I've got Kate Moss by Rimmel in the shade number 8. I was wearing this the other day, so I put it in my purse. I'll go ahead and swatch you for you guys, because why not? Got a band-aid, because you always got to be prepared. I've got this little handkerchief that my mom gave me, and it has little butterflies on it, and she gave it to me when I was going through a really rough time, and it just kind of reminds me of my mommy. So I keep it in my purse, just in case, you know. I'm ever stressed out or you know if I ever start crying I have a little handkerchief to make me feel a little bit better I've got some Blistex medicated lip ointment this stuff is the best for cracked lips like for real I had like some cold sore ish looking thing right here like months and months ago and that's the reason that I bought this from like 7-eleven I think and this stuff is great so I definitely recommend it you go out and get this so that you don't have to buy the like $30 Abriva or whatever the price is because that stuff is expensive and this works just as well. I've got two little Bath and Body Works sprays. I've got the Wild Madagascar Vanilla which is gone and it's sad. I really want to buy the full perfume but it is $40 so don't know when I'll be buying that. I need to finish this mint because it's making me talk weird. Then I have the newest one that they have right now and it is the 1000 Wishes. I've got a Chick-fil-A mint because me and Blake ate Chick-fil-A one day and I took the mints and I was just like... And I just dumped a bunch of them in my purse because you never know when you're gonna need to freshen up your breath, right? And my favorite item in here is my little watermelon friend! And he, I bought him because that fossil wallet doesn't have a coin thing. So inside of him is my rewards card keychain. And then he's just got some loose change in his head. And I made up a song about this the day that I bought it. And I kept singing it and Blake told me to shut up. This is my little watermelon friend. My watermelon friend. My watermelon friend. He's got a little bit of a dent in his head, but he's still my watermelon friend. Yeah, so Blake didn't like that song very much because I kept singing it at the top of my lungs around the apartment. But he's my watermelon friend and I just want everyone to know that he's my watermelon friend and he holds my things. What's left in here is in the pocket and that's just some tampons, a nail file, and some gum. So. That is it in my purse. If you would like to know why there is a giant silver slash right here, it is because I bought this off of eBay and it was a return item from Fossil. I'm assuming, I don't know. It, that's the reason that they told me that there was that slash, but when all the stuff is in there, you don't see it, so it didn't really bother me none because I got it for a really good price. So. That is the end of my what's in my bag video. If you guys like this video, video, if you guys like my videos, if you like this video, please show some love to that like button down there. And if you subscribe, then you can become one of my gypsy kittens and every single one of you counts. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. What, what was that? Bye.